The pyramids of Egypt, magnificent masterpieces of ancient engineering, have intrigued humanity for millennia. Towering majestically over the desert, they are not only witnesses to a glorious past, but also represent a remarkable feat of construction. The question many ask is, why do these incredible structures remain standing after so much time? In this first episode of our series, we will explore the secrets behind the durability of the pyramids, investigating the construction techniques, the materials used, and the strategies that ensured their resistance to erosion and wear. Get ready for a fascinating journey through time. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive new episodes. The pyramids of Egypt, especially the majestic Great Pyramid of Giza, are enduring symbols of an ancient civilization that achieved incredible feats. Built around 4,500 years ago, these grand structures are an impressive testament to the engineering and ambition of the Egyptian pharaohs who sought to secure their legacy for all eternity. Even today, the pyramids continue to be admired and studied, standing the test of time and weathering the elements maintaining their status as one of the greatest wonders of the world. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu, was erected during the reign of this pharaoh around 2500 before Christ. Originally clad in highly polished limestone, its surface shone brightly under the scorching desert sun, creating a stunning sight. This pyramid, the largest among the three at Giza, represented not only the power of Khufu, but also his desire to be remembered forever. The pharaohs believed that constructing these monumental pyramids would guarantee their immortality, aiding their souls in transitioning to eternal life in the afterlife. The impressive size of the Great Pyramid is one of the factors that make it so remarkable. With an original height of approximately 146 meters, it was the tallest man-made structure until the completion of the Eiffel Tower in 1889. And the most surprising part is that all this was achieved without the use of modern tools, such as cranes or metal cutting machines. The ancient Egyptians relied solely on simple tools made of stone and copper, along with the incredible manpower of thousands of workers. Many of these people were farmers who, during the flooding periods of the Nile, devoted themselves to the construction of the pyramids, believing they were serving a religious and civic purpose. Building a pyramid required a surprisingly advanced level of planning and organization for the time. The precision with which the Great Pyramid is aligned with the cardinal points is something that still impresses experts today. This alignment seems to indicate that the Egyptian builders had a great knowledge of astronomy and geometry. Furthermore, the internal design of the pyramids, with their hidden chambers and tunnels, reflects the profound knowledge that the Egyptians had of architecture and engineering. One of the most fascinating aspects of the pyramids is their resilience over the centuries. Located in the desert, they have faced strong winds, sandstorms, and extreme temperatures, yet they remain standing. The pyramidal shape itself is one of the reasons for their durability, as it distributes weight evenly, preventing collapse. Additionally, the materials used, such as granite and limestone, have been fundamental in preserving these structures over time. More than just monumental tombs, the pyramids were symbols of the Egyptian belief in the afterlife. They not only housed the bodies of the pharaohs, but also served as portals to the realm of the gods, where the deceased kings believed they would continue their existence. Thus, these constructions were designed to last eternally, reflecting the Egyptians' pursuit of a lasting legacy. The pyramids stand today as a tangible reminder of the ambition and spirituality of the ancient Egyptians. The pyramids of Egypt are impressive testimonies to how the ancient Egyptians mastered the art of engineering and architecture. More than majestic tombs, these structures were built with such precise planning that even after thousands of years, they remain virtually intact. To understand how this was possible, it is essential to explore the detailed attention to alignment and geometry as well as the construction techniques that were employed. One of the most fascinating features of the pyramids is the exact alignment with the cardinal points. 
the Great Pyramid of Giza in particular, is almost perfectly oriented towards true north. The fact that the ancient Egyptians achieved this feat with such precision, without modern navigation tools, continues to impress experts. They likely used advanced astronomical observations, especially based on the movement of stars and the sun, to determine the correct direction. This precise alignment not only added spiritual and religious significance to the pyramid, but also helped ensure that the structure was well positioned to withstand the forces of nature, such as wind and erosion. The shape of the pyramids, with their wide base that tapers as it rises, is also crucial to their durability. The pyramidal form allows for even weight distribution of the structure, which helps maintain its stability over time. Thanks to this shape, the weight of the pyramid is evenly distributed downward, avoiding uneven pressures that could cause cracks or collapse. Unlike other ancient buildings, which succumbed to time due to structural issues, the pyramids have remained standing largely due to their geometric form, which practically eliminates the risk of structural failures. In addition to the shape, careful planning played a crucial role in the construction of the pyramids. The Egyptians developed ingenious solutions for moving and lifting stone blocks that weighed tons. One of the most used techniques was the construction of inclined ramps around the pyramids. With these ramps, workers were able to drag enormous stone blocks to great heights carefully stacking them in the correct position. The ramps were adapted as the pyramid grew, allowing workers to maintain the pace of construction. Archaeological findings indicate the existence of such ramps, confirming the effectiveness of this technique. Another essential aspect was the meticulous preparation of the pyramid base. To ensure that the structure was solid and stable, the builders leveled the ground with surprising precision. This leveling of the base was crucial as any slope could compromise the stability of the entire pyramid. Methods such as using water to check the level or utilizing taut strings helped ensure that the base was perfectly flat. This set of advanced planning practices, combined with astronomical knowledge and the choice of durable materials, explains why the pyramids continue to defy time and weather conditions. Their durability is a tribute to the ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians, who created monuments truly meant to last for eternity. The pyramids of Egypt are undoubtedly one of the greatest architectural wonders of ancient history, and part of their millennia-long durability is related to the materials used in their construction. Two main types of stone were fundamental in this process. Limestone, widely employed for the outer surfaces, and granite which was reserved for the inner areas and important structural components. Limestone was an abundant resource near Giza, making it a practical and efficient choice. It was quarried in large quantities from nearby quarries, especially in Tura, and was primarily used to cover the outer surface of the pyramids. The high-quality white limestone that originally clad the pyramids gave these structures a brilliant appearance under the sunlight which many believe is related to the worship of the sun god Ra. This shine would have given the pyramids a symbolic function, reflecting light and connecting them with divine power. However, over the centuries, much of this limestone cladding was removed to be reused in other constructions, leaving the core of the pyramids, made of lower quality limestone, exposed. In addition to its aesthetic aspect, limestone has properties that made it ideal for construction. It is relatively easy to cut and shape, allowing the blocks to be worked with greater precision by the ancient Egyptian builders. Although it is not as hard as granite, limestone has the advantage of being lighter, making transport and handling easier during construction. Another important characteristic is its porosity, which offers some resistance against erosion caused by natural factors like wind and desert sand. For these reasons, Limestone was essential in ensuring that the pyramids could maintain their shape over millennia. While limestone was widely used in the outer part, granite was mainly employed in the internal chambers and more critical parts of the structure. Granite is much harder and more durable than limestone, and its use inside the pyramids reflects the need for materials that could withstand the massive weight of the stones and internal pressures of the construction. Quarried from locations in Aswan, in southern Egypt, Transporting these heavy blocks to Giza was a challenging operation. However, the effort paid off, 
as granite provided extreme durability to the burial chambers and other internal areas. Due to its incredible hardness, granite is highly resistant to wear and deterioration. This means that the chambers and tombs where the pharaohs and their treasures were placed remain well preserved even after thousands of years. In addition to its structural function, granite was also used in sarcophagi and statues inside the pyramids, giving a touch of grandeur and resilience that remains to this day. The combination of limestone and granite was crucial for the durability of the pyramids. Each material played a specific role. Limestone offered flexibility and lightness for the outer parts, while granite provided the strength needed to preserve the inner chambers. Together, these materials helped ensure that the pyramids of Egypt withstood the test of time, standing tall for thousands of years. Imagine yourself in ancient Egypt, about 4,500 years ago, where the pyramids were starting to take shape under the scorching sky. Without the modern tools we have today, the ancient Egyptians relied on human labor and ingenious methods to construct these enormous structures. The question arises, how did they manage to extract and transport stone blocks, weighing up to 70 tons over long distances? The process began in the quarries. To raise the pyramids, the Egyptians primarily used two stones, limestone, which covered the outer part of the pyramids, and granite, which was reserved for the internal chambers. Limestone was abundant in Giza, while granite came from Aswan, located about 800 kilometers to the south. To separate these enormous blocks from the rock, the Egyptians used copper tools, such as hammers, chisels, and wedges. They made cuts in the rock and inserted wooden wedges into the cracks. By wetting these wedges, the wood expanded and helped split the rock, allowing the blocks to be extracted. After extraction, the next challenge was transporting the blocks. One of the secrets of the Egyptians' efficiency was using the Nile River as a natural highway. The blocks were placed on wooden sleds and pulled to the river. Workers used dragging techniques that demonstrated practical knowledge of physics. Recent research suggests that to facilitate the movement of the sleds, the Egyptians wet the sand in front of them, reducing friction and allowing the stones to slide more easily. This simple trick made the task less exhausting and required less manpower. Upon reaching the Nile, the Egyptians used boats made from large wooden logs. The blocks were placed onto these boats, which were then carried down the river to the construction site. These boats, specifically designed to carry heavy loads, utilized the force of the Nile's currents, allowing for the efficient transport of heavy materials. The logistics involved in this process were complex, requiring meticulous coordination among thousands of workers to ensure that the blocks arrived on time without delaying the construction of the pyramids. Once the blocks arrived at the construction site, the next challenge was to lift them to great heights. For this, the Egyptians built ramps of earth and bricks that rose around the pyramid as construction progressed. These ramps allowed the blocks to be pulled upward using ropes and sleds. The ramps could take various shapes, such as straight, spiral, or zigzag, depending on the strategy chosen for construction. Although the concept of transportation and elevation may seem simple, executing these techniques was incredibly effective and demanded great effort. The organization and collaboration of thousands of workers demonstrated the Egyptian skill in facing complex challenges. Over the years, these methodologies enabled the construction of the pyramids, raising them block by block, until they reach the impressive heights we know today. These structures are not only a testament to ancient engineering, but also to the human capacity to overcome difficulties and leave a lasting legacy. The pyramids of Egypt are true icons of ancient engineering, and one of the main techniques the builders used to ensure their durability was layered construction. To understand this technique, we can imagine a layer cake, where each layer is not only delicious, but also provide support to the rest of the structure. This approach was essential in allowing the pyramids to bear the enormous weight of the stones that make up their walls, while also resisting the wear caused by time. During the construction of the pyramids, the ancient Egyptians realized that strategically stacking stone blocks not only made the structure more solid, but also helped withstand natural forces like wind and erosion. 
Each layer of stone was placed carefully at a slight angle, allowing the weight to be distributed evenly. This means that instead of concentrating a large load on a single point, the pressure was spread throughout the structure, reducing the risk of collapse. Moreover, the layered arrangement helped protect the structure from the elements. The pyramid design, with its sloping faces, facilitates rainwater runoff, preventing it from accumulating and seeping into the stones. This aspect is particularly relevant in Egypt, where, although rain is rare, when it occurs, it can cause considerable damage if not properly drained. The slopes of the pyramids ensure that water drains away from the stones, minimizing the risk of erosion and deterioration. The choice of materials used in construction was also vital for the pyramid's durability. Limestone and granite were specially selected for their characteristics. Limestone, which makes up most of the outer casing, is relatively soft, allowing workers to shape and cut it precisely. In contrast, granite, used in areas that needed to bear more weight, like the inner chambers, is extremely tough and hard. The combination of these materials formed an effective barrier against natural elements. Another important aspect of the layered construction technique is that it allowed the pyramids to adapt to changes over time. With the constant erosion caused by wind and desert sand, the pyramids face an ongoing challenge. However, by being built in layers, if a part of the structure began to wear down, the overlapping stones helped redistribute the weight, preventing the entire pyramid from becoming unstable. This clever strategy ensured that the pyramids could withstand wear for millennia. Although many of the outer casings of the pyramids have been removed over the centuries, exposing their surfaces, the internal structure has remained impressively intact. This is a result of the strength of the layered construction and how each block supports the next. Thus, even in the face of the passage of time and climate changes, the pyramids continue to rise majestically over the Egyptian landscape. In this way, layered construction represents more than just a technique. It reflects the creativity and knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. They understood how gravity, pressure, and erosion interact, using this understanding to create structures that, to this day, defy time. The resilience of the pyramids against wear and erosion is a testament to human brilliance and the ability to build something that still fascinates and inspires the world. The pyramids of Egypt are a true testament to the genius of the ancient Egyptians and their engineering skills. The layered construction technique, with its resistance to erosion and ability to support the colossal weight of the stones, is just one of the many reasons why these structures have stood for millennia. To discover more fascinating mysteries about the pyramids and their incredible stories, don't miss part two of our series. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on more intriguing content about the ancient world.